Lucas Media. So PBC just made an announcement. They got a double header between Keith Thurman, Tim Tazu, Rolly Romero, and the guy that fought uh, Tank Davis. It was Isaac Isaac Pitbull Cruz? So they're fighting on a double header on March 30th on Amazon Prime. Now, so I'll make a separate video about Rolly and uh, Cruz, but Keith Thurman and Tim Tazu. <sighs> This whole setup is weird, right? Because Tim Zhu, we thought was going to face Charlo or whatever. And then he ended up, Charlo moved up. They stripped. And when I'm talking about Charlo, I'm talking about uh, Jermail. Moved up, two-way classes to fight Canelo. He got stripped of the belt. They Tim Zhu fought for the belt. Now he's, won, now he's a champion. And Keith Thurman... Who used to be one of my favorite fighters prior to 2017. I don't know what's going on with Keith. If y'all check out my other videos, I made one about Keith. Let me just break down how inactive he's been, really, in this space. So, he fought Sean Porter. He fought Sean Porter in 2016. He was already the WBA champion, but he fought. Remember, I believe they, they fought on TV, on regular TV. Then he beat Danny Garcia March 4th, 2017 for the WBC title. Then he became, so he's unified, WBA, WBC champion. He's the man at 147. He started acting really weird. I don't, I don't know, did he just get comfortable? Earl was the champion. We thought that they might have unified on the PBC side. And Keith Thurman, he just, I don't know, he stopped, he started acting like, or, or talking on this philosophy level, he said he got hurt, he got hurt again, he didn't fight for, um, he didn't fight for over two, and a, two plus years. So, he ended up having to give, give, give up the WBC belt, and that went through the whole circus or whatever then he comes back he fights Jose Josito Lopez January 6, 2019 then he fought Manny Pacquiao July 20, 2019 he lost the belt the WBA belt then he fought Mario Barrios in February February 5th, 2022. So between 2019, uh, two and a half years, he didn't fight again. And now he hasn't fought since February 2022. So it's been two years since his last fight. And he's fighting for a title at 154? Hmm. And Tim Tazu, he, he's unknown, really, in America. Unless you're a diehard casual, I mean, a diehard fan. He did fight three times last year. Last fight against Brian Mendoza in a 12 round unanim unanimous decision. I don't really know who's going to win that fight. I would lean more towards Tim Dazu only because Keith Thurman, I don't know, he's had one of the strangest careers in boxing. <clears throat> Excuse me. You go from me, the number one fighter at 147, and I remember him doing interviews at 78. I got to, oh, I ain't afraid to let it go. I'll fight anybody. He was calling out Mayweather, talking about burn money, and I'm studying you, and don't duck me, son. He was saying that to all type of different fighters, and then when he becomes the man at 147, he just disappeared. So, for him to be out over, it'd be 25 months, basically, since he'd been in the ring, to go through a title shot, I don't know if he'll beat Tim Tazoo, but we'll see. I mean, Tim Tazoo, like I said, was a more active fighter, so... At this moment, if if my life was on the line, I had to pick Tim Tazu. Now, Keith Thurman might shock me and go in there and beat Tim Tazu. But then, even then, is he going to fight Terrence Crawford at 154? Because he was talking about fighting Crawford, but we don't know. Like I said, they over there is too much funny stuff in boxing. And here's another thing. Why is this fight on pay-per-view? This is not a pay-per-view fight. Nobody's going to support this fight. They haven't put no promotion behind the fight. And do 
Do people even know who Keith Thurman is anymore or Tim Tazu? No. So who who's gonna who's gonna support it? And I don't know. I don't know what Al Heyman and them doing over there, but y'all should have did what y'all was doing back in 2015 and have those fights on regular TV. Let's do a deal with ESPN like how Bob Aaron and them did and do Friday Night Lights or whatever. Have them fight there. But for them to be on pay-per-view, who's really going to order that? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's just not a, it's not a pay-per-view fight. And they've been doing that with a lot of people. They throw a lot. Of, almost everybody now is fighting on pay-per-view. It's not like the pay-per-view is $15. You know what I mean? Where you be like, well, let me go ahead and support it. Y'all want $70 for Charlo versus No Name or Keith Thurman versus Tim Tazoo or whatever. No. Nobody, mo most people are not going to support it. Sorry. And I didn't say this on, pre on my other videos. This is why UFC is slowly starting to rise because you get to see the fights you want to see. Even when they have interim champions, they end up fighting who the people want to fight. And it's worth paying their pay-per-view price. So I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. But don't be surprised if they don't even release the pay-per-view numbers. This is not a good look on my end unless they do some type of like crazy promotion. But again, Chief Thurman ain't really been ain't really been fighting since he beat Danny Garcia often. But I want to get my quick thoughts about it. What y'all think?